Here is the field. Alex Quinones of Ecuador in lane eight, South American champion at 200 meters. And in his favorite lane, this is Noah Lyles of Team USA. There's just so much you could say about this young man. He phenomenal talent at 100 and 200 meters. Still looks like he's excited about competition. Inside of him, lane six is Alex Wilson, actually born in Jamaica, represents Switzerland. He's a European Championships bronze medalist at 200 meters. And in lane five, that's Andre DeGrasse. We get to see the crowd react to the Swiss athlete. They always love to see their own compete. Andre DeGrasse, who is starting to look like himself. He's an Olympic Games silver medalist at 200 meters. He's run 1991. And Ramil Guliev, the 2017 World Championship gold medalist in 2017, surprised us there, has been a three-time world finalist since. The other Canadian, Aaron Brown, will run in lane three, winner in Shanghai and in Stockholm. Sydney Siami of Zambia, Youth Olympic Games winner at 100 meters back in 2014. And Shea Zhenya of China will run in lane number one, twice the Asian champion at this distance, 200 meters. Well, he's the defending Diamond League champion at 200 meters, but he's not been running a lot of 200 meters, stepping down in distance, racing a couple of times at 100 meters. Lyle's still the guy that everyone believes, given the fact he's going to focus on the 200 likely favorite not if not just for nationals but also for the world championships absolutely what else he said in the interview that we didn't see is that he had been doing a lot of focusing on the hundred and training and so when he jumped into the 200 meters he wanted to kind of see where he was now he went back to training and really focusing in on the 200 again and he feels that he'll do something special here today i think he'll do something special for two reasons one because of his training but two because of that loss and noah allows is a great competitor loves to compete loves being out on the track and He'll want to get that world lead time, and he'll want to show that he's the man to beat at 200 meters. He'll have his hand full with Andre DeGrasse, who's been running consistently well, but all eyes for sure on Noah Lyles. Lifetime best of 1965, Noah Lyles in lane seven. He's off to a good start. I thought that was his weakness in Rome, and it looks like he's corrected that. He's going to come off the turn in front or close to it with Andre DeGrasse, and this is his strong point. As he gets to his top end speed, look at Noah Lyles come to the finish line, and the clock reads 19.50 into a headwind. Noah Lyles, not only the meet record and a new lifetime best, but becomes the second fastest American behind only Michael Johnson. Behind Usain Bolt, but that's what we expected from Noah Lyles after having a loss against Michael Norman. What an impressive run. Noah Lyles ran the first hundred very well. You think of Noah Lyles, even though he's run really fast at 100 meters, that's not the strong point of his race. But he got off the turn fast and never looked back. 1950. Impressive running by the youngster. Here he is coming off the turn, and he never gives anything back. He's focused on the finish line, pushing, always attacking the track, and his reward for his efforts, 1950. And perhaps the reward for the guy next to him, left of screen, Alice Quinones, who got carried through on that last stretch, coming in second, setting a new personal best and a new Ecuador national record in 1987. So the World all-time list now reads Usain Bolt, Johan Blake, Michael Johnson, and this man, Noah Lyles. 1950, that'll be a race talked about for the rest of the summer.